Hello, dear comrades. Today we are going to talk about the main uh, topic of the business, SWOT analysis. So, the question, how people can develop their business in economy? So, we are learning today the main features and what are the main uh, features of SWOT analysis in business. So, the main objective of our lesson is what is SWOT analysis? Aim of the analysis? Who needs SWOT analysis? How to conduct SWOT analysis? So, there are benefits and pitfalls of SWOT analysis. We'll look through it later. And brainstorming, I will give you some questions and exercise according to the topic. So, we'll do uh, all together. So, the main vocabulary of today is let's look through some new vocabulary. Internal environment is each hit. External environment, kashkunohit. Strengths, kuchinitama. Opportunity, imponiat. Economic boom, katsodi usish. Substitute product, unnan bosuche. Meet the target. Market share, business venture, business product evaluation, So, SWOT is the economic word for the strengths, weakness, opportunity, and threats. It was first developed. Uh, in Stanford University in 1960s and 1970s. The planning tool of the SWOT analysis is used to understand what is the strength and weakness, opportunity and threats involved in a project or in a business. The main uh, framework for organizing and using the data and information gained from situation analysis of internal and external environment. Technique that enables a group or individual to move from everyday problem to additional strategies to a fresh perspective. So we can see that here the strength side of the business is Characteristics of the business or team that give it an advantage over other in industry. Positive, tangible and intangible attributes, internal to an organization. Beneficial aspect of the organization or the capabilities of an organization, which includes human competences, process capabilities, financial resources, products and services, customer goodwill, and brand loyalty. So, for the strengthening part, uh, you can always get into consideration what, what is the powerful side of your business. Uh, what are the opportunities? Opportunities are the chances to make your business uh, to develop and greater profits in the environment. External attractive factors that represent the reason for an organization to exist and develop. To arise when an organization can take benefit of conditions in its environment. To plan and execute strategies that enable it to become more profitable. Organizations should be careful and recognize the opportunities and grasp them whenever they arise. Opportunities may arise from market, from the competition, industry, government and technology. If you have good technology, if you have a good market target and you will always have a good competition around your surroundings in the market. So examples, rapid market growth, rival firms are complacent, changing customer needs, New useful product discovered, economic boom, government regulation, sales decline for substitute product. So the next part is the weakness of your business. So all the businesses should know their strengthening side and the weaknesses side. 
So characteristics that place the firm at a disadvantage relative to others. Describe the organization from its ability to attain the core goal and influence its growth. Weaknesses are the factors which do not meet the standards. We feel they should meet. However, weaknesses are controllable. You, if you know your weaker side, you always try to avoid it and to work on your problems. They must be minimized and eliminated. Examples of the weaknesses. Limited financial resources. For example, if your company doesn't have enough resources, we expanding on R&D, very narrow product line, limited distribution, higher cost, out of date products or out of date technology, weak market image, poor marketing skills, poor uh, advertisement, poor marketing skills, limited management skills, and the training employees. These are the weaknesses of the company. So what kind of stress can be seen in a market share? So stress uh, are always the external elements in the environment that could cause trouble for the business. External factors are beyond an organization's control, which could place the organization's mission or operation at risk. Arise when conditions in external environment jeopardize the reliability and profitability of the organization's business. Compound the vulnerability when they relate to the weakness. Threats are uncontrollable. When a threat comes, the stability and survival can be at stake. So the business manager or the employer always need to take in, into account that what are the threats to increase or to improve the business. So examples are actual foreign competitors. For example, in a market share, if you have the competitors with the foreign companies, you must take it into consideration, of course. Introduction of a new substitute products, for example, if your product is uh, out of date, for example, you have to know about the new coming products in the market, so you have to find the substitute products instead of uh, old ones. Product life cycle in decline, changing customer needs, taste, rival firms adopt new strategies, increase government, Regulation and economic downturn. So the next topic is aim of the SWOT analysis. What is the aim of the SWOT analysis? There are two sides which are helpful and harmful sides of the analysis in the economy. So the uh, strengths and opportunity are always helpful if the company knows its strength size, strong size and opportunities. It is always helpful and it helps to develop the business, of course. But the weakness and threats are the harmful size of the business. So it uh, loses business. It brings to the bankruptcy of the business company. To help the decision makers share and compare the ideas. So the main aim of SWOT analysis is to bring a clear common purpose and understanding of factors for success. So each company should know how to bring a clear common purpose and how to give the factors for success. To organize the important factors linked to success and failure in the business world. To analyze issues that have led to failure in the past. For example, if the company had survived from the bankruptcy, it should know the analysis of the issues which was uh, for the contemporary time. 
to provide liability to the decision-making process, allowing complex ideas to be presented systematically. So the next question is, who needs SWOT analysis? Usually, uh, for the growing of the business, for managing, for running the business, and for the company, it is a very important issue. The first, when supervisor has issues with work out, they should know about how to manage the company. Assigned to a new job, new financial year, fresh targets. For every year, they need to do this work analysis of the company and learn the target for the coming year. Job holder, holder seeks to improve performance on the job. If they have some problems for the technology or running the business, they should take into consideration about improving the situation in the market. The next one is for the business unit. It is a very important topic. When the team has not met its target, customer service can be better. Launching a new business unit to pursue a new business. New team leader is appointed for running successful business. And for the company, when revenue, costs and expenses are uh, parallelly uh, learned, targets are not being achieved. Market share is declining. When in the market, the company doesn't launch its uh, own products. Industry conditions are unfavorable, launching a new business venture. So, who needs SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis is also required for effectiveness in the market, decision making, for personal development planning, and for product evaluation, brainstorming meetings, good for the goods and services evaluation, for strategy planning, computer evaluation, and product launch. How to conduct SWOT analysis? For conducting SWOT analysis, we need to know following steps. The first one is analyze internal and external environment. What are the problems in the company and what are the, some uh, problems which are in the environment or in the market of the developing of the company. Perform SWOT analysis and document. And the last one is Prepare action plans. After having analysis, after learning, after having observation or research uh, of the new company, the company should take care about having new plans according to the SWOT analysis. How to conduct SWOT analysis? The first one is the company should learn the situation of the analysis, internal, what are the internal and external effects? Internal analysis are weakness of the company and strengths of the company. External analysis are opportunities and threats. So for the strengths, we have to take into consideration what are the technological skills? Are the employees technologically uh, literate people? They can lead any business successfully, independently. 
how the company distribute the channels, the customer loyalty and relationship with the customers is very important issue too. The production quality, the quality of the products, are they good and do they bring success for the company or the fame to the company? And scale and management are the main important topics too. So what are the opportunities for the business? Changing customer taste, for example, uh, according to the statistics, it is uh, it's important that it's known that all the companies should know the taste and the demand of the customer. According to the customer's taste and demand, they can change their product launch. Technological advance and change in the government politics also can affect the opportunities of the company. Lower personal taxes, change in the population age, and new distribution channels can also affect the opportunities of the company. Opportunities can earn enough profit or benefits according to these levels. What are the weaknesses? Weaknesses are absence of important skills. For example, if the employees doesn't have enough the knowledge of the business or the important skills in running business. Weak brands. If the company has a relationship with the other companies and not in a good uh, relationship with the brands. Poor access to distribution. Low customer retention. Unreliable products and services. Subscale and management. These are internal factors of this work analysis. Threats, which belong to the external factor, is changing customer base. So according to the analysis, we know that the company annually need to change the, the customer's demand according to their services and product they launch. Closing of the geographic market, technological advances, change in government politics, tax increases, change in population age, new distribution channels can affect the stress of the company. So, how to conduct soil analysis according to their document. So the company should carry about the findings. So make sure that soil analysis is used in subsequent planning. Revisit your findings at suitable time interval. So for every quarter, annually, the company should learn beforehand what are the benefits, what are the news and what is expected about the launching new products. Evaluation listed ideas against objectives. With a list compiled, sort and group facts and ideas in relation to the objectives. Establishing the new objective, purpose of the conducting SWOT analysis may wide or narrow or give good opportunity for the company. Allocating research and information, gathering tasks, background preparation can be carried out in two stages, exploratory and detailed information. Gather information on strengths and weakness of the company should focus on the internal factors and information on opportunities, threats should focus on the external factors. So, 
uh, how the company should prepare action plan. Once the SWOT analysis has been completed, uh, mark each point is done uh, in this action. The first one, things that must be addressed immediately. So the company should know which are the most number one problems that should be solved for the nearest future. And the next one is things that can be handled now. The third one, things that should be researched further. So analytics uh, gives that um, every company should do research according to their value and the product's uh, service. The last one is things that should be planned for the future. The next question is what are the benefits and drawbacks of SWOT analysis? Benefits of SWOT analysis are knowing the competition if the company knows the other competitors and the foreign companies which are in the country. They can develop their business according to this issue. The second one is decision making tool. And the last one, forecasting. Knowing the competition brings, reviews a company's competitors and benchmarkers against them to configure strategies that will put the company in a competitive advantage. For decision making to provide well-rounded information that prompt well-informed decision. Forecasting, the company will learn uh, they are coming uh, losses and gains beforehand, providing a variety of information critical to forecasted variables. Threats, for example, can impact a business forecast. By understanding the company's advantages and disadvantages, forecasts will be more accurate. So what are the benefits of SWOT analysis? Besides the broad benefits, here are some more benefits of conducting SWOT analysis. The benefits are helps in setting up objectives for strategic planning. So it provides a framework for identifying and analyzing strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. provides an impetus to analysis, a situation, and develop suitable strategies and tactics. Basis for assessing core capabilities and competences. Benefits of SWOT analysis also brings evidence for cultural key, for the change of the company, and for successful achievements and it also provides a stimulus to participation in a group experiences. So what are the pitfalls of SWOT analysis that are that drawbacks can be very subjective? Two people rarely come up with the same final version of the SWOT. For example, two different employees can have different ideas, different issues, different uh, results with a problem. Use it as a guide and not as a prescription. So it may cause organizations to view circumstances as very simple due to which certain key strategic contact may be overlooked. And the drawbacks, categorizing aspect as a strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats might be very subjective, as there is a great degree of uncertainty in market. For being effective, SWOT analysis needs to be conducted regularly. The pace of the change makes it difficult to anticipate development. 
The data used in the analysis may be based on assumption that subsequently prove to be unfunded, which are good or bad. So it lacks detailed structure, so key elements may get missed. Now we are going to look through some uh, topics and we'll discuss the SWOT analysis of these topics. The first one, output from brainstorming exercise here. So you have to look through to this question and try to answer the question by your own. Begin brainstorming by asking the following question. What opportunities exist in our external environment? So, each of you, please uh, imagine that you are the owner of a business or the manager of the company. So, how would you act in the case of these uh, issues? The first one, what stress to the institution exists in your external environment. What are the strengths of your institution? What are the weaknesses of your institution? Or you can say your company. What are the strengths of your company? What are the weaknesses of your company? At the end of the exercise, you have to come with the idea to reduce the list of strengths and weakness to no more than five distinctive competences and debilitating weakness and strengths that are distinctive competences and you have to give some weaknesses that are debilitating so what are the main key to reduce threats and opportunities to the five most critically important of each so please Get ready for the question and answer your uh, reply. So, here are uh, some main answers how to do and don't for having research in a SWOT analysis. You must as a company leader or as a manager, manager of the company, you must be analytical and specific having this one analysis. You have to record all thoughts and ideas and you have to be selective in the final evaluation. So taking into consideration of your employees and the customers, you need to choose the right people for running the business and you have to choose a suitable SWOT leader or facilitator. Think out of the box and be open to change. What you don't have to do or you have not to follow is try to describe big business. So <clears throat> merely list errors and mistakes lose sight of external influences and trends. You have to always follow with the weak sides too. Allow the SWOT analysis to become a blame-laying exercise. Ignore the outcomes of later stages of the planning process. So, when you're conducting a business, SWOT analysis design it a leader or group facilitator. You can be a facilitator, you can be a leader, you can be a manager of the company. Introduce the SWOT method and its purpose in your organization to the gain acceptance. So your customers, uh, to answer the demand of the customers, to be reliable, to be in good relationship. So all your employees need to be uh, in a purpose of having successful 
action in a SWOT analysis. Be willing to break away from the traditional method. While doing a SWOT analysis for a job, invite someone to brainstorm with you. So always two ideas are better than one. You have to ask and know, discuss with uh, other companies according to the business field. Discuss and record the results. Prepare a written summary of the SWOT analysis to give to participants. <clears throat> so here we also give the topic as an assignment. Assume that a car manufacturing company has recently launched its products. Perform a SWOT analysis for the same company. So how do you run the business? <clears throat> how do you uh, get your product in the market? So what are the strengths parts? What are the external part of your business? And what are the helpful sides of your business? And what are the internal and harmful sides of your business? For car company. No competition in the segment. Environment friendly, economic to drive, government subsidies. So these are the strengths part of your automobile company. So what are the opportunities? Huge untapped automobile market, growing demand on green technologies, rising fuel costs, growing road cohesion in urban cities are good opportunities for having profit on an automobile business. The weakness are high price, low aesthetic appeal, small driving range, competition from gasoline vehicles. So these are the weaknesses. So before running, before launching your automobile in the market, you have to learn this size accordingly. What are the streets which gives uh, to your company? These are government incentives to gasoline vehicles, to energy of the competitors, the other companies which are producing automobile or vehicles competitively in the same region. Stringent safety requirements anticipated availability of hybrid vehicles. These are the harmful streets for running automobile business. So we gave you here some features, but we also appreciate your answers according to this assignment. The next uh, exercise is McDonald's SWOT analysis. We know that fast foods are very developing nowadays and it is one of the uh, prestigious business in the world. So what are the McDonald's SWOT analysis? So we have to look through internal and external features. As mentioned before, so the strengths and opportunities are external and weakness and strengths are internal features. Ranks very high on the Fortune magazine most admired list. So we can see McDonald's everywhere on a journals, on magazines, on a daily newspapers. So community oriented. These are taking into consideration the demand of the publicity. Many people want to have ready-made food. Global operations all over the world. Cultural diversity in the foods. Excellent location. 
So we know that uh, McDonald's restaurants are everywhere in the world and they have uh, uh, assembly line operations and they use two quality products. So what are the opportunities which the company give? They are opening more joint ventures, they have chain restaurants around the world, being more responsive to the healthier options, advertising Wi-Fi services in the brains so people can use Wi-Fi and other uh, network facilities uh, at the same time at the McDonald's restaurants. Expanding on the advertising on being more socially responsible, expansion of the business into newly developed part of the world. As uh, population of the globalization, uh, many people are very busy with their work. Uh, from the morning till late hours, they work accordingly. So. Uh, having ready-made food and fast food are in demand. Open products up to the allergen-free options such as peanuts free. So what are the weaknesses and threats of the McDonald's? Failing pizza test market thus limiting the ability to compete with pizza providers. High training costs due to the high turnover. So there are minimal concentration on organic food because uh, they can freeze, they can get ready earlier and just in a no time you will have your pizza or some other foods ready. So there are less organic foods. Not much variation in seasonal products. So you cannot find some seasonal products uh, on your fast food meal. Quality concern due to the franchise operation. Focus on burgers, fried foods, not on healthier option for their customers. So customers always prefer having healthy food. That is the weakness of the fast food restaurant. And what are the sweets? Marketing strategies that entice people from small children to adults. They can make a competition and they can deliver their food uh, among the people of different age. Lawsuit for offering unhealthy food. Contamination risk that include this threat of E. coli containment. The vast amount of fast food restaurants that are open as competition. Focus on healthier dieting by consumers. <clears throat> Don't turn in economy affecting the ability to eat that much. So, <clears throat> for having a successful business and uh, running a very profitable uh, company, we have to make this uh, solution. So, every manager or the company president should keep SWOT short or simple. But remember to include important details for the weak side and external and internal features. For example, if you think your communication skill is your strength, include specific details such as verbal and written communication. When you finish your SWOT analysis, prioritize the results by listening them in order to the most significant factors that affect you or in your business at least. Get multiple perspectives on you so your business uh, for your SWOT analysis this is a very important one. Ask for input from your employees, colleagues, or friends, suppliers, customers, and partners. They are dears, always helpful and important for your business. 
Apply your SWOT analysis to a specific issue, such as a goal you'd like to achieve or a problem you need to solve. So you have to have an important target. What problem you want to know to solve. You can then conduct separate SWOT analysis on individual issues and combine them together. Thank you for your attention. That is the end of our lesson. Goodbye.